Yeah, I pretty much just never sit by the pool anymore. There are plenty of videos out there listing Disney's pools from best to worst, from biggest to smallest, and from emptiest to fullest. By the way, All-Star Movie's Mighty Duck Pool, the Goofy Pool, is the best. But I want to look at Disney's pools from a different perspective, the Disney with Disabilities perspective. See, in addition to putting out the highest of quality videos just like this one on this channel, I'm also the moderator of a Facebook group, Disney with Disabilities. Our group members love Disney parks and resorts and they've traveled to them all around the world. They share their expertise with others who have a special need. There are those with autism, some with hearing impairment, some with cognitive disabilities, and some with vision impairment. But some of them have mobility issues like me. Now, before Star Wars, Toy Story Land was the next to disappoint me. Two rides, neither one of them wheelchair accessible. Over here, you have the alien space coaster spin. And right up there, you've got Slinky Dog, neither of which are handicap accessible with wheelchairs. I can transfer short distances so I can walk or climb into most Walt Disney World pool, resort pools. Pool steps are okay for me, especially with handrails. My problem is, after remaining weightless for a while, I don't want to get out of the water. But anyway, some of our group have mobility issues to the point that they can't even take those steps. And previously, we introduced you with Disney with Disability members Nikki Slot and her husband Ed. Ed's in a wheelchair and needs help transferring. In this video, I was going to show you how to use the Disney Pool Disabled Chairlift and how it worked, but then Disney went and closed every park and resort in the entire world. Until whenever. All the resort pools and most of the hot tubs have a chairlift and they are all the same. Built by SR Smith, these lift chairs fall into two categories, fixed or mobile. According to lifeguards I talk to, the chairs are used about once a week at All-Star Movies, sometimes more. Lifeguard coordinators inspect the chairs at the beginning of every shift and after each use. The unit is secured and made ready for its next use. For those that can't transfer and are confined to their chairs, if it's waterproof, a number of Disney pools have zero entry sections. The Big Blue Pool at Disney's Art of Animation, Animal Kingdom's Jumbo House Main Pool, and the Fuentes del Moro Pool over at the Caribbean Beach are just a few examples. At these pools, caregivers can wheel wheelchairs directly into the water and decide how deep they can safely go. Now, keep in mind, Disney doesn't provide, or do they even have, waterproof chairs. Most of the wheelchair rental places advertise waterproof chairs, but you'll have to call them. And just as a reminder, over on Disney with Disabilities, our members can access a list of wheelchair and ECV rental companies recommended by our members. Remember, you can join us too. But let's talk about those lifts. First off, I can't use them. Nope, they got a weight limit of 300 pounds. Second, and most importantly, according to the lifeguards, don't hesitate to use them. That's what they're there for. They can give you directions, but they can't actually work the controls for you. But they said, don't hesitate. If you need them, use them. First off, make sure you use the provided seatbelt and fold the arms down. Until you become familiar with the controls, you could get jerked around a little bit. Practice a little bit over the pavement. Sure, it would hurt less to hit the water, but at least you won't drown. The controls are fairly simple. Left, right, up, down. You can either use the corded remote yourself or have someone else use the controls on the chair support beam. And I know it depends on the size of your group, but you should try to have somebody in the water making sure everything goes as planned. Yeah, probably not the best choice. And if, like me, you can walk down a couple of steps, several pools have conveniently located handrails along those steps. If the pools are not too crowded, I like to park my chair at the head of the steps where I'm entering. This makes me feel like I'm letting others know that I'll be exiting here too. And maybe they won't sit there and block it. So I've noticed a number of pools, the guest see steps more is, well, seats. Well, that's the quick version of accessibility when it comes to Disney's pools. After Disney reopens and everything gets straightened out, maybe we can head over to the resorts and get a better look at their operation. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. 
You know, with Emmy's passing, I'm not sure how to honor her in my videos. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments section. Also, if you like this video, why not give it a big thumbs up? Disney lifeguards everywhere appreciate your support. And although I'm not a lifeguard, I could use a little support too. You can help support this channel by signing up to be part of our team. For as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com slash esbobcz, you'll be able to help in the creation of these videos. You can also show your support by subscribing to the channel. It's free. You just click on the subscribe button on this page. But in the day of insurity, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to. So make sure you also click on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video.